Hashtag how to run for poll mark. Lecture 7, March 9. Apollo, Alir, and the Laurel Reef. In the South Aegean Sea there is a small island which is an archaeological site whose ruins include Doric temples, an amphitheater, markets, houses with mosaic art and the Ionic Terrace of the Lion's statues. Its location made it ideal for seafarers traveling the Aegean with maritime powers often attempting to control its harbors for sanctuary. Nearly at the center of Cyclades archipelago Delos has evidence of habitation dating back to 3000 BC with a heightened importance from 1580 to 1200 BC during the Mycenaean period. On this island was the Temple of Apollo at Delphi on the southwestern slope of Mount Parnassus below which millions of olive trees stand between it and the sea. Above the temple was an amphitheater and above that a stadium where the Pythian Panhellenic competitions were held. One of the most important religious sites in ancient Greece, the temple housed the Delphic Oracle with the source of its wisdom believed to come from Apollo through the voice of Pythia. Greeks and non-Greeks would pay tribute to the god through his oracle at the Delphic temple as the terrain of the island was not right for planting much more than olive trees. As explained in the Homeric hymn to the Delian Apollo of the island, for truly I have but hard, rocky soil, 262-82, but what does all this have to do with hashtag how to run for Polamark, and if you would just bear with us we will explain. Of the Olympian gods Apollo is the national divinity of the Greeks where with his leer like an archer he attacks, but instead of harming enemies he helps friends through a victory and unification crowned with a laurel wreath for those who do the same. The national divinity of Greece, Apollo is the son of Zeus and Leto and one of the twelve Olympians in Greek mythology that helped defeat the Titans and one of those on the D.I. consents. With many Olympians alluding to planets Apollo is more so significant, because unlike Zeus' association with the planet Jupiter and the Roman god Jupiter, Apollo is more closely associated with the sun, illumination, and light. We are taught today that, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, John 1 colon 1, but the Word was not Word. The Word was light. Apollo's main epithet was Phoebus, bright or illustrious, which the pole marches to be of our body. As his name in Greek is the same for those Roman, when none other are, the definition of Panhellenic seems begin with the Roman Empire's inability to translate Apollo into a Latin version of the same. The most Greek of all gods and men, Apollo was also seen as the most beautiful example for human perfection. The Delphic Shrine is but one of Apollo's temples erected in Greece as there are at least 20 others there and additionally 6 others Etruscan and Roman temples dedicated to him. He is also the god of healing and protection from evil, but as he heals and protects, he is at the same time he is said to bring disease and death by his arrows. Thus helping friends and harming enemies is where Apollo and the Pole March have the same objective, so we kneel at a symbolic Delphic shrine and pray that our efforts are best for the bodies we represent. With Apollo's leer like an archer he attacks, but instead of harming enemies, he helps friends through the victory in Greek unification. Sure, we could focus on Apollo's skill in archery which is meant to harm, but we think it best to discuss his ability to help through the unification of Greek people through the melody of the leer. Anyone can force another through numbers or strength into capitulation, but persuasion is much more effective where a foundation in music leads to song, and song subsequently brings about dance as well. What is dance but satisfaction and happiness with oneself, one's place in the world and in time with physical movements and expressions as closely as humanly possible to the rhythm and melody of music. We don't fight without strategy, and neither do we dance without music where in either case Apollo's arrows and Lear ensure victory to those of Greek persuasion. Adding strategy to dance choreography is championed though us by our unification, but the Lear is only for small grassroots audiences. So, here is to a liar in every Greek household in a micro-marketing strategy that will have the whole fraternity dancing for the happiness and victory we have in the pole march. Crowned with the laurel wreath Apollo sets a glass ceiling of achievement for us to do the same high atop his head. But for our fraternity the wreath of laurel is not so high as to be unattainable, as several in our fraternity have been so distinguished, but this achievement is no walk in the park. The highest honor bestowed on a member of our fraternity is Apollo's laurel wreath where what more could be said about it except that no amount of politics or economic can secure for future recipients this august award. The essence of our being noble and bold is a mark we may never reach, but being, the captains of our fate and the masters of our souls, we attempt to guide our destiny toward this goal, if whether or not we happen to be pole march. The wreaths are made from the laurus nobilis plant, and as we rest on our laurels many rely on yesterday's successes for much deserved future claims to greatness like as if Elder Watson Diggs returned, who from among us wouldn't be the first to pay homage. Though we all show deference to older brothers, when it is due, those awarded this distinction or any other award are due that much more respect even if just lucky. But being at the right place at the right time is more than just luck, so in navigating oneself through the fraternity and to any award use skill in positioning efforts so to maximize the likelihood of achievement. Apollo being the national divinity of the Greeks is so for good reason as his leer brings about a comfortable atmosphere for victory in song and dance with the epitome of victory for Kappa is in a wreath of laurel. The most Greek of all gods and men and the most illustrious of all gods Apollo is a prime example of what the pole march is to be to members. With the foundation of war being strategy and peace harmony, Apollo uses arrows in war and melody from the leer to harmonize song and dance. Resting on our laurels we know victory is assured as we won, oh, so long ago. That concludes the information for this time. Tune into our weekly presentations during this spring semester, Wednesdays from 9.11am to 10.05 as we learn how to run for poll mark.